Hey gamers, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is an easy PSP hack. I love handheld gaming consoles. The idea of taking with me great games anywhere has never gotten old or stale. One of the best of these handheld consoles, in my opinion, is the PSP. Now I know some of you are going to disagree with me and I'd love to hear about that in the comments section. Now if playing some great PlayStation titles isn't enough, well, there is this. So if you have a PSP laying around or you want a badass handheld without buying a cheap knockoff, this is an easy hack to get you there. Okay let's jump in and take a look at what you will need. A PSP 1000, 2000 or 3000 model, the UMD does not need to work. You will also need a PSP to PC USB cord. You can pick one up cheap wherever stuff is sold online. Just make sure it's the correct one for your model. You will need a PSP Duo memory card or Duo adapter memory card with the micro SD. But whatever memory card that you choose to use, this hack will work for either way. First step, download my GM Henchman folder. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and format this memory card because I want to do a fresh install of this hack and I know it'll be smoother if I do it that way. You don't have to format your memory card. Um, but in the case that you run the hack and it doesn't work, then you may need to go back and format it using your PSP. In that case, just copy any files that you don't want erased onto your desktop. That way you can copy them back to your memory card once the format is complete. With your memory card inserted in your PSP, from your system settings, go to Format Memory Stick. Yes, and Format. Once the memory card is formatted and ready to go, we can now jump into the hack. Next, using the USB cable I mentioned earlier, connect your PSP to your computer. Okay, now go ahead and open up the compressed Henchman Gaming folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop it onto my desktop. Now we can close this off. And we'll just move our folder over here. Okay guys, let's open up the Henchman folder. Okay, taking a look at what's inside the Henchman folder, the first thing we have is the ISO. This is where you would place your ISO files and CSO files. Basically your PSP games are gonna go in this folder. Open up your game folder and here you will find all the emulators that are included in this hack. You also find the hack itself, which is the first two files. If you open up, let's say Game Boy Advance, this is where you would place your ROMs or games. Same thing for Sega, Nintendo, Master Boy, includes Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Sega Game Gear. So let's go ahead and assume that all of your files and games and ROMs have been placed in their proper folder. This is my PSP. Remember we plugged it into our PC and this is what the file, uh, the memory stick looks like after it's been formatted. You notice that there is no ISO file, so we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste. And I'm going to open up PSP and you see there is a game folder, but it's empty. So open up the one from the henchman and let's go ahead and highlight and copy and paste. And this is what that looks like. Now there is about four gigs of data between these two files, so that is gonna take some time. All the BIOS are included with all these emulators as well. And of course you can include any other emulators if you like. Alright guys, so all of our data is transferred over to our PSP dual memory card. So now we're going to jump over back to the hack. But before we do, I just want to make mention that if you are new to ROMs, this video right here, uh, which is in the description, 
will help you choose where to get your ROMs and where not to get your ROMs. So check that out. Okay, so now I'm back on the PSP and uh, we're gonna open up the memory stick here and you're gonna notice that if we try and open up one of these emulators, it's gonna say that the data is corrupt. This is the Master Boy and this is the Game Boy Advance. So we need to run our firmware. Select it and hit X. Uh, and then go ahead and let it run. Okay, so from this menu, you're going to hit X to run the firmware. And then you're going to hit X again to go ahead and reboot. After reboot, go ahead and select the memory stick. And you'll see that the ISO file I placed in there is now showing up, the Atari Classic. And now when we select the emulator, it opens up. This is the GBA emulator menu. It is ready to go. At some point you'll probably reboot your PSP or your battery will die. In this case you have to reactivate the hack. It's already installed. Just go ahead and click on fast recovery on your PSP and it'll turn the hack right back on. All right, let's go ahead and check out that Master Boy emulator. And uh, matter of fact, we'll go ahead and run a ROM and uh, just see how that looks. Okay, this is the ROM menu. And go ahead and hit load ROM. And uh, we can pick uh, probably Super Mario Land out of here. And this is for the Game Boy emulator. And here it is, Super Mario Land on Game Boy. I do have the sound turned down, but the sound does work on these. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there and actually uh, I'm gonna load another ROM and this is still in Master Boy. And remember earlier when we placed our games in the other file, and this is uh, Sega Game Gear. So let's go ahead and uh, pick Sonic Chaos. And I did play this on Game Gear, and I thought it was a pretty hard ass game to be honest with you. So this is Sonic Chaos for the Game Gear. And uh, when you're playing this game, you can act, the screen actually looks a lot more clear and there's less ghosting on the PSP screen versus the Game Gear screen. Uh, and you can see when you jump, it actually does the same thing it does on the Game Gear where the screen has to scroll up to uh, show you what's up top. And uh, it, it runs really smooth, actually. So uh, you have to collect all of the Chaos Emeralds and uh, this game always kicked my butt, but maybe I'll try it again and cheat a little bit with save states or something, I don't know. But it does have some cool features like the flying rocket boots and stuff. Okay, so this is the ISO PSP file that I placed on there. Let's go ahead and check that out, see if it runs flawlessly, which it will. I kind of like it has the UMD loading screen on there and uh, these games save everything just like normal as well so you can save all your your data and with the emulators the same thing goes as well you can do save states except for MAME they don't really have a save state option on there well there you go guys an old hack for an old console but I really love this handheld system so I'm just gonna go ahead and play it until I die and rot away just thought I'd let you know that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you don't like it, uh, then let me know in the comment section. In the description area of the video will be all the information you need for this hack. If you have any questions or comments, uh, again, just drop them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy gaming. Hey gamers, thank you for watching my videos on the Henchman Gaming Channel. I really appreciate the support and feedback. Please hit like and this icon to subscribe.